election news now. Josh, many attended last night's NDGOP primary and gives us a recap of that event. With around 100,000 people moving into North Dakota in the last decade, all 47 of the district boundaries have changed. For the North Dakota GOP primary, this has created a situation where many unendorsed candidates came up against and even defeated endorsed candidates, such as ND GOP District 8 Senate candidate Sean Cleary, who did not win the delegate endorsement at the state convention in April, but decisively defeated his opponent Ryan Eckroth by seven to 30 percent on Tuesday. You know, I decided to run because I care about North Dakota. I want to see Bismarck succeed, North Dakota succeed. And A lot of money was put toward attack ads against Representative Jeff Magrum and other candidates. But North Dakota's loose campaign finance reporting laws prevent us from knowing where that money came from. We need some serious campaign finance reform in this state. Hopefully we'll get a cap on the amount of money that can be spent. Magram's opponent, Dave Nearing, has an impressive background working on the local level and on the Agriculture and Natural Resources Committee in the legislature. I'm an energy nerd and I, and I really uh, appreciate the opportunity to be in ag and natural resources and want to bring my expertise to those uh, areas. District 8 House candidate Brandon Pritchard says he learned a lot about what the constituents in District 8 want from knocking on so many doors. Lowering property taxes. Um, it's a big issue in Burley County and in Bismarck and I know that we're going to try to fight for that in the next legislative session. Term limits are a big thing. You talk about that. I think almost 80 percent of the state of North Dakota, um, according to polls, support term limits and we're going to try to fight for that in the next session as well. And now that Republican voters have made their decision, the ND GOP will support the primary winners going into the general election. Alicia, back to you.